Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to Dire Wolf 20. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. We are here today. We are going to take a look at a couple of new mods today. Uh, talked about doing it in the last episode. Did not get a chance to get to it. I'm checking out our map. I want to see. Wait. That is where we're going to be going here pretty soon. Uh, but that's not what we're messing with today. Today, I want to get into two different mods. One, we need to get started working on getting some farms and stuff set up. So I want to look at industrial foregoing. This mod is more or less the spiritual successor of Mine Factory, Mine Factory Reloaded. All that good stuff. It's got our mob crusher, mob spawn, I mean, it's a mob duplicator. Uh, it's more or less got the same machines. It works more or less the exact same way. There are some differences. So, but to get into this mod, we need, of course, the plastic. Now, the plastic is not grown from rubber trees now. We need dry rubber, which is made from tiny dry rubber, which is made from a latex processing unit. That's not necessarily too bad. But in order to get the latex, or not the latex, yeah, in order to get the latex, we need, what is this thing called? I forget what it's called. That's the latex processing unit. We need this tree fluid extractor. Not necessarily real hard to do, but that is where we are going to start. So, we need a little bit of stone. We've got not enough. Do I have some in my chest here that we didn't use last episode? It does not look like it. So let us get some more going. We're going to make um, a couple of these. Oh, I got the <clears throat> oh, I forgot about that. I done last episode. I kind of finished the episode off right here. We had zombie sounds. I went through the wall here. It wasn't a ravine. It was just more or less a great big hole. And I have gone through and cleared it all out. At least upstairs. I didn't go downstairs. So, but now, there's still zombie sounds. But that's down lower. We will eventually get to that. So, there is that. How many do we need? Not that one, this one. Three. I want to make four of these machines. So, we need. 24. We're almost there. While we're waiting on that, we're going to need iron gears. So we need four iron four iron gears. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to need one for the other machine. Alright, so, we need a furnace and some redstone. There's that. One, two, three, and four. Beautiful. So let us, we've got enough. Awesome. Tree fluid extractor. There's all four of these. Now, these are what we need. These do not take any kind of power. We're going to set them up right out here. So, 
So these things, let's place, which way did that place? It places facing that way. There we go. Now what these things do is they will take a log and they will extract latex out of it. Now this thing will break down or will eventually break. So in order for us to get some more out of here, I want to be able to leave this thing go and us go do some other stuff and let it collect all the latex that it needs to collect. We are out. Uh oh. Uh oh. We are not going to be able to do that. We're going to have to do this the hard way. So we need to at least get. Close the door. I don't have any of the. I was going to use a mechanical user to place a block. And we don't have any of the. What the heck are those things called? Resonating redstone crystals. Don't have any of those. I got to go do some more mining. All right. So after that interruption, we need to make some tanks. Shouldn't be that hard to make these. We want portable tank servo. So let's get us a piece of iron. We've already got iron. We need some redstone. We are going to need glass, and I think I left the glass down here. Really? There we go. Some copper. I've got a bunch of copper smelting down there. Alright, so, portable tank. One of those, and one of these. Now, I don't know if this machine... We'll straight pump out this. It does not look like it. That's what I was afraid of. So, this thing's going to take forever to break. Actually, let's take our three out of there. Boom. Alright, so we need to make some fluid ducts. Fluid ducts are just copper. What's the difference between the two? I don't know. Anyways, copper and some glass. We'll go ahead and make a few recipes of this. And we're going to need some swervos. I can't even spell it. Uh, our basic one should work. We're going to need four of them. Beautiful. And it's sunset, so we need to sleep. Alright, so we put this here, we can put this here, we can connect fluid ducts on all sides, should be able to add our servos with redstone ignored, oh look who learned how to use servos. And we'll go ahead and cover this up for now. And we should be getting latex. Awesome. Now, we need another machine. We need this latex processing unit. 
not necessarily that hard to make. I'm going to let that go. We'll come out here in a minute and place another log while we do our other stuff. So, latex processing unit. We need another furnace. We need some more redstone. We are going to need a block of wood or two. And we need that. Alright, so we've got our machine case. We need, oh, we need one more furnace. Boom, one more furnace. So that should be everything that we need. We are going to need some more lead because we are out of thing I done forgot how to make them there we are out of yeah sure um we're out of con well it's not conduit we're out of flux ducts so we can put this down here. We can smack the cat. His mama just got home. He's having fits. All right, this machine, we've got it full of power. Now we've got to get our latex in there. How much latex do we have? I don't know. It doesn't say. So let us get this out of here. See if that's enough to do anything that we need. Now I do not know. Alright, so we got to add water to this. That is not going to work. So let's break this. Let's put it up here. We're going to need that. And we're going to need another Swervo. Once again, I come upstairs to do this, and we don't need to do it. Uh, we need a few more of those. And there's our Swervo. Alright, now, flux or fluid ducts. We have, actually I'm wondering, since I don't have any way of really getting water right now, if we can just run these over. That is what we are going to try. I need to break this out so we know where to go. And we're going to have a whole wall to replace. Alright, there we go. We need to torch this thing up a little bit. Torch that up. Let us run. This back here. That should be getting water. It is not. It is now getting water. Awesome. And for now, for decorating purposes, we'll put us a nice pretty cobblestone wall up back here. 
because who doesn't love cobblestone? All right, so we are still not getting latex. Why are we not getting latex? Because we didn't change this. Awesome. This thing is now making these tiny dry rubbers. And it's out of water. It's all right. We're going to have to come up with a different way other than this of generating some water. Or look at some speed upgrades. Um, we might be able to do that. I will look at that. Actually, we may look at a different way other than this in order to do this because we've just about got what we need out of this for now. We need one more little bucket of water. There it goes. We've got nine. Now we can take these nine and we've got a dry rubber. That's not going to work because it's full. Let's put it in here. And we've got our first piece of plastic. Now, most of these most of these recipes are pretty much the exact same as what they were uh, in Mine Factory Reloaded. So, we're not going to make any more of these today. I wanted to get our latex part set up. We've got a bit to go before we're going to have enough of the latex or the plastic sheets in order to really do anything. Oh. 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 Wait a minute. So my question is laser base, laser lens, so how do we charge the laser? We need to make that book. We'll look at that at a different time. We've got one other mod to look at. We are going to look at this Meeps mod. Me creeps, not Meeps. This is a watch a little bit on this today. This is actually probably one of the coolest mods I've seen. So we need a chest. And we should have everything we need. No, we need one more done. And boom. We have meat creeps. We need to empty out That was a meat creep. So let us empty out our inventory here right quick. Not that. Not that. Alright, enough stuff done. What time is it? It is sunset. Let's go to sleep. All right, now, basically this meat creep is just a little bit, or a little bit helper. We can set him to do several different tasks. So, we right click on this wood right here. We can tell him to chop this tree. Oh, is he gonna take them all down? That's awesome. And we can just stand here while he works. And once he's done, he just goes away. Now he's got several different things that he can do. Really? Uh, he's got several different things that he can do. 
one of the things he can do, get a torch back, is if we come let's say over here and we right click on this spot we can have him flatten out an area and he will clear us out a little 9 by 9 space that's circled around him I guess I clicked it up here <coughs> so pretty neat one of the things that I want to put him to doing or at least try to see what he does I gotta remember not to do that while I'm holding him and I've lost my food there it is We're going to take him down here into the mine. And if we come over here, I don't know if he will burn up in lava or not. But we can have him build a 3x3 three three tunnel. We can just sit back, go behind him and torch. That is awesome. Don't know how far he will get before either he will despawn or actually I don't want him to get too far from me because he'll wind up will wind up spawning some mobs. But what it does look like is we do not get any kind of ores from him. All we get is cobblestone. So, not necessarily the best use of him. But before it's all done and over with, I've seen bees. You can just barely catch them. They're just little blue dots. So we have a nice little shaft here cleaned out that we can go through and do some strip mining off of. And there he's gone. Beautiful. We'll probably check, no, we won't probably, we will check out some of the other features that he does. Graphical glitch. See that little blue dot that was flying there? I don't know if you all can see that or not. There he goes right there. There's bees all over the place down here. So, we've got us a helper. It's awesome. It's a little bit less work that I can do. I'm wondering. We've got a few more minutes. Let's take him out here. Matter of fact, we're going to take him right here. We want to build a house. And let's do a 9 by 9 That's pretty cool. Are you out of cobblestone? Can I just throw it down here and you get it and finish? Wow. He just kind of went through the wall. Well, I guess I will be back once he gets this done. All right, we are back. He is looking for some glass now. So let us get in here and get our glass out. I don't know if that's going to be enough for him or not. But we shall see.
Oh yeah, it should be. And one last little bit of cobblestone. And boom. We have a nice little house. Are you done? And I don't know if he took the cobblestone with him or not. Now, I don't know um, if you all... The Dire Wolf 20, the one that does this mod pack. I don't know if you've ever watched any of his series or anything like that, but this is basically what he builds. This mod is created, it's created by him, but not made by him. It was his idea. He had somebody else make it for him. And I'm going to put him to doing one more thing for us. And see if he can use those torches. He cannot. So that's interesting to know. We will have to make some normal torches in order for him to use them. But that is going to be all. I wanted to get the process of this going. We've got quite a bit of stuff in here now. We're out of latex. That's all right. I'm going to take this back up here. We'll get some more. Next episode, we should be able to start getting us some kind of farm automation going on. I don't know what yet. Um, one of the things we got to look at, too, also is power. So we might look at that instead. So with that... That's going to be it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.